in this video, we are going to see a problem on tetrahedron. Let us get started. A tetrahedron of 60 mm side is having one of its edge parallel to VP and inclined at 45 degree to HP, while a face containing that edge is inclined at 30 degree to VP. Draw its projections. So this is the question. Whatever the conditions are there, there in this question, I'll explain it. First of all, by reading this, we have understood that the type of solid is a tetrahedron. Now, what is tetrahedron? Tetrahedron is that solid in which all the faces are in the form of equilateral triangle. Even the base is in the form of equilateral triangle. So here I'll quickly draw the diagram for that. So here we have a diagram of a tetrahedron which is a solid in which all the faces are in the form of equilateral triangles. Here the base is in the form of an equilateral triangle and all the base corners, it has three base corners connected to a common vertex called as apex, apex O. These are the slant edges. And it has triangular faces. And even the base is in the form of a triangle. Triangular base. And all are equilateral. Means they are all equilateral triangle. It is given that tetrahedron of 60 mm side is having one of its edge parallel to VP. It means the entire tetrahedron is in VP. Now one of its edge is parallel to VP. So for that I will be explaining the condition. The side of base is given as it is 60 mm side tetrahedron. I will measure this distance. 60 mm drawing an arc keeping it onto the other side cutting this arc then here I get the intersection point joining it will give me the tetrahedron which looks like a an equilateral triangle in the front view because it is in VP so it will be seen as an equilateral triangle in the front view. Now, after this, when we are looking from front, it has triangular faces. So, those triangular faces are connected to a common apex. For that, I'll take half of this distance, which is 60 mm, half of this side to form the midpoint, then joining it to the opposite corner. Next, taking the other, any one of the sides. Taking its midpoint and joining to the opposite corner. Now, wherever these two lines intersect, that gives us the apex. I'll make it dark. So in this way, the tetrahedron will look from the front, resting on its edge. This edge will be parallel to VP. Now taking this as the initial condition, I'll start completing the solution for this. So here we have x, y line, hp, hp and vp. Now, since it is resting in vp, having one of its edge parallel to vp, so I'll use this initial condition and draw the tetrahedron here. 
it means the complete tetrahedron is in VP. I'll draw a right vertical line. Over that, I'll mark this distance 60 because here I have drawn the tetrahedron with its original dimensioning. Taking this distance as 60 mm, marking it, then drawing an arc here. Next, I'll cut this arc from the other side or from the other point. Wherever these two points intersect, I'll join it. Next, again, I'll take midpoint of any one of these sides. And that already I have marked here. Taking this distance, marking it on one side, marking it on other side, and then joining it to the opposite corner. So here we get the apex. I'll say it is O dash. Next, this is the front view of the tetrahedron when it is resting in VP. So now, here I have joined all the corners to the apex forming the slant edges. Next, I will give it the notation. This will be 1 dash, here 2 dash, this is 3 dash. It means this tetrahedron is resting on an edge 1 dash, 2 dash. Projecting it in the top view. From the top, if we are looking, edge 1 dash 2 dash will look like a point, and here I have that point, it is 1, comma 2. Next, I'll be projecting the apex. With a light line, then projecting this point 3 dash. Now, when we are drawing a tetrahedron, always see that here we have completed the front view. For top view, we have to draw the tetrahedron in such a way that take the distance, which is 60 mm, distance of the side given of the tetrahedron. Then measure that distance from the corner, not from the edge. That is, here if we see, 1 dash, 2 dash shows an edge, whereas 3 dash shows the corner. So here there is 0.3. So taking the distance 60 mm, keeping it on 0.3, cut this line which is passing through the apex. Although here it is looking like an equilateral triangle in one view, but in the other view it won't be appearing as an equilateral triangle because the shape will change. When we are looking from top, we are going to get an apparent shape of this tetrahedron. When we are looking from front, we are getting the true shape. So that is why it is an equilateral triangle. So here I will connect the points. So this gives me point O. Now after drawing the front view and top view, I'll make it dark. Here this shows the axis of the tetrahedron. Now this is the initial condition. After this I will read the question again. A tetrahedron of 60 mm side is having one of its edge parallel to VP that we have drawn and inclined at 45 degree to HP. So inclination with HP is given that will be seen in VP and inclination with HP is denoted as theta. So theta is 45 degree. 
Next, while a face containing that edge is inclined at 30 degree to VP, inclination with VP is denoted by phi and phi is 30 degree. Inclination with VP will be seen in HP. And if we see here, the inclination is given of while a face containing that edge is inclined at 30 degree to VP. It means the face, if we see containing the edge, that edge on which it is resting, it is 1 dash, 2 dash, and that contains a triangular face 1 dash. 2 dash O dash. So, this triangular face when seen in the top view is at this location which is O12 and it has to be made inclined at 30 degree to VP. So, it will be seen in HP. So, the next condition will be making this triangular face inclined 30 degree to VP drawing the tetrahedron. After that, I will use the condition which is given it is 45 degree to HP which will be seen in VP. That will be our last condition. So, let us get started with the second condition where I will make this triangular face inclined at 30 degree to VP seen in HP. Next, I will measure this edge which is from O up till 1 to 2 and then marking it over here. Keeping this point, marking this distance here. So, that gives me the edge which is O and here it is 1 comma 2. Next I will copy this tetrahedron over here for that since it is inclined now I require the remaining edges. So, for that from the apex up to 0.3, I will measure this distance and drawing a light arc from this apex, then measuring the base from 1 to 2 up to 0.3, cutting it. So, here I get that inclined tetrahedron Now, here I will mark 0.3 Then For the axis, I will take the distance from 0.3 up to this center Marking the distance Making this inclined tetrahedron dark Now, this is the top view of the tetrahedron in which the triangular face is inclined with VP at an angle of 30 degree. Now I will draw the front view for it and for that observer is here. So as an observer those points will be projected first which are closer to the observer. So if we see from here point 3 is closer so that will be projected first. Point 3 dash from the front view. Wherever they intersect, 
that gives me point three dash. Then point O of the apex. Point O dash from the front view onto the same line as three dash. So here we have point O dash. Next points one and two will be projected. With a right line, projecting one dash first. Then two dash. So here I'll get point one dash and point two dash. Now joining the outlines in the proper sequence because outlines are never going to be hidden. Joining O dash to one dash. Then O dash to two dash. Next two dash to three dash. Finally three dash to one dash. So after reaching here, I'll make it dark all these edges. O dash to one dash, then O dash to two dash, similarly in order. Then, as an observer, if we are looking from here, the edge O to three slant edge is visible, so it should be made dark. Joining O dash with three dash. Then edge 1 to 2 that is 1 dash 2 dash is going behind the observer so it should be hidden. So drawing it with dotted line. Next this is the front view of the inclined tetrahedron in which out of the three triangular faces triangular face O dash 2 dash 3 dash that is visible o dash 1 dash 3 dash is visible and the triangular face 1 dash 3 dash 2 dash going behind the observer so it is hidden then we can say that this 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash is nothing but the base of the tetrahedron which is denoted here and here is the triangular face which is o dash 1 dash 2 dash that is also hidden so this is the second condition now in the third condition it is given that one of its edge parallel to VP and inclined at 45 degree to HP. So the same edge which was parallel to VP that is 1 dash 2 dash. Now this edge will be made inclined at 45 degree to HP and that will be seen in VP. For that I will draw a light line inclined at 45 degree. Drawing a light line through it, then here the angle is 45 degree with HP seen in VP. Copying this entire tetrahedron on this side, so taking the distance from H2 dash up to 1 dash. Marking it on this side. Now the tetrahedron will be tilted in such a way that 1 dash is here and 2 dash is on the other side. So that gives me 1 double dash and this is 2 double dash. Then I have to copy this entire tetrahedron here. For that I will mark the distance of this center line O dash 3 dash. So onto it. I'll mark the distance of the center line. Next, 
this line is perpendicular to 1 dash 2 dash and for that marking 90 degree over it then measuring the distance from this edge 1 dash 2 dash up to point number 3 so point number 3 will be below this so measuring this distance of point 3 keeping it over here and marking it on this side so that gives me the point 3 double dash now after waiting 3 double dash on the same line there is O dash which is the apex for that I will take the distance from 1 dash 2 dash this edge up to the apex and this gives me O double dash then joining it line joining all these points with the help of light lines first O double dash 2 2 double dash then 2 double dash 2 3 double dash then 2 double dash to 1 double dash next 1 double dash to O double dash copying it in a similar manner edge O dash 3 dash is a dark line then the outer edges One double dash, two double dash will be a hidden line because that edge was hidden in the second condition and same edge we had taken and made it inclined at 30 degree here it is at 45 degree with HP now this is the inclined tetrahedron in which one dash, two dash is a one double dash, two double dash inclined at 45 degree now this is the front view of the tetrahedron next I have to draw the top view and for that observer is here fixed here so if we are observing the tetrahedron from the top those points needs to be projected first which are closer to the observer so if we see here old double dash is closer that will be projected first then point O that is apex from the top view wherever O double dash and O intersects that gives us point O in the top view apex next 2 double dash is closer to the observer then point 2 will be projected from the top view wherever 2 double dash and 2 intersect that gives us point 2 then point 3 double dash projected light and here we have point 3 in the top view wherever 3 double dash and point 3 intersect that gives us point 3 next point 1 double dash and here we have point 1 and 2 onto the same line so wherever point 1 double dash and 1 they intersect that gives us point 1 now joining all these points in the proper sequence first of all the outlines they will never be hidden and as an observer here O double dash 2 double dash that is visible or we can say that the complete triangular face O double dash 1 double dash 2 double dash is closer to the observer so that will be joined with the help of solid line next even the triangular face O double dash 2 double dash 3 double dash is visible
नेक्स्ट एज वन टू थ्री दैट इज वन डबल डैश थ्री डबल डैश इज गोइंग बिहाइंड दी ऑब्जर्वर सो दैट नीड्स टू बी ड्रॉन हिडन इट विल बी ड्रॉन विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ डॉटेड लाइन नेक्स्ट आई मेक इट डार्क so here is the top view of the tetrahedron next i'll give the dimensioning to it that is 60 mm and even this is the true length i'll write here it is tl which is the true length of this tetrahedron and that is 60 mm and once we have reached up till here you can say that the problem has been completed